Hey everyone. So uh, I got some comments on my last video, so I'm going to go through it. I, I guess I went through the explanation too quick. I figured that people weren't going to be interested in the math, so I sort of just went through it way too quick. But I guess it was the opposite that uh, I should have taken my time a bit more. I just didn't know how much time to spend on it. So I'm going to spend time on two things in this video. One on the, the algebra that I went through in the last uh, video. And if you don't understand algebra or like algebra, that's fine. I'm going to also give an intuitive explanation just so you understand what the math is saying. It's not complicated. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is advice for uh, IJs, uh, sleep blast or PI, OI, um, introverted uh, observer, introverted perceiver. So I have some, basically in the last video, I sort of skipped over the advice for the IJs. Um, and I really have some, some important stuff. I hope it's not too harsh. I hope you guys can handle it. Um, so let's just dive right in. So here's the last video. Um, Alan, I had him, uh, I think about three times on my channel. For the first time, I didn't find myself aligned in particular with the final conclusion. So he didn't, he didn't align with the final conclusion. I think it's because I, I rushed through it too quick. Putting my opponent, own opinion aside, the progression seemed to be a bit rushed or forced. Yep, you're right. I, I did rush it on purpose. Um, and I'm sorry for that. I'm going to go through it a, a little bit more. I thought basically if you were interested, you could slow down and work out the math yourself. But that's uh, my own function saying what I would have done. And yeah. Okay. So uh, his one example of, of what I was rushed was this thing. I think I'm sure that's the only thing. Um, and Brian also says, excellent. Thank you. I wanted to understand the algebra, right? Same thing. So I'm going to get into it really quick. Um, also, by the way, Brian was on my channel a couple times. Great interviews. Check them out too. Um, okay. So let's start, dive right in. So this is what I set up the equation here. I, I basically set up that uh, if you add up all the animals times some kind of um, uh, constant, um, then, then you should get zero. You should get some kind of balance, right? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to balance using three animals. Um, basically, what I have here is basically what's going on here. I have uh, one E here and minus one E, basically for energy. And then the I is for information, minus one I. So blast, for example, you look at blast, it's minus one I, right? And one E, right? It's the same thing. So that's basically how it sort of works. And really what the intuitive side of it, I'm going to explain that now, is, is that, okay, so like, let's say this is my example, sleep, consume, blast. So I'm using these three animals. And what Alan said was right, okay? Alan said, um, why is each animal related the same arbitrary point value? I have raised this before with Otim and got nowhere, perhaps the impasse uh, estimation model itself. So yeah, I don't think each animal has the same value. And this constant in front is just like a rough uh, idea of how often and how effective you are with that animal combined into one sort of thing. Um, I didn't want to make the math too complicated, so I tried to keep it as simple as possible. So I just put some constant multiplying the animal. That's also assuming that each animal is using the info and the energy equally. Um, yes, it's very rough, but it's going to give us an intuitive idea of what you're trying to balance. Okay, so let's say you're going sleep, consume, blast. So here, I'm, I start in sleep. I have to use sleep. So what do I need? I need to balance out my minus one I. I need to get some positive I. So I go to consume for the positive I. But then I'm doubling down on the negative E. So I need to go and use some E. But that, So I'm using this extroverted to balance out the, 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 the introverted energy. But then I'm doubling up on the introverted info. So I have to go back. And, and I'm going back and forth. And in the end, I'm spending way too much time. I'm way too biased on the introverted info and went to introverted energy. There's no way I can create a balance here unless I start to use this play. And this is basically what the math says. So I've got the equation set up. My XA1 is sleep. XA2 is consume, right? It's just X times whatever sleep is, right? Sleep is this, minus one, minus one. So I have that here, X times that. Y times whatever consume is, right? And then I add them together. When you add them together, you have X times that, right? Exactly this, plus Y times A2, which is here, fits in there, and, pl and plus Z times uh, or Z for the Americans times uh, whatever my third animal is. Um, and in this case, it's blast. So you'll see I'm putting in blast here and multiplying by Z and I'm making it equal to zero. So if I rearrange everything, I put in all of the info X's, X, Y, and Z, right? It's minus X, I plus Y, I, right? Minus Z, right? Minus, and then here are the same thing, minus X, E, uh, minus Y, E, and plus ZE, right? So then I have the two formulas here. 
So now let's try to balance. So, so I basically said it a little bit more intuitively with your balance, but let's do the actual balancing and with the math. So what happens, I, I, I say that the, the info has to balance. So I take the info and I make it zero and I take the energy and I make it zero. These are the two equations that I'm using. So I'm gonna take this equation, I'm gonna put Y on one side. So I'm gonna do Y is on this side. So I'm gonna add X to this side and add the Z to this side. So it's X plus Z. Here, the Y is on this side. If I put the Y on this side, all I have to do is take the Y out. So it's still minus X and plus Z. And then there's a Y on that side, right? Minus X plus Z. And now what am I doing? I'm gonna put in uh, Y equals Y, right? This is equal to this, oops. And then you see that in the end, I get X equals minus X. So the only solution that will balance this is zero, right? And what is X? Why is there this X here? X we said is the first one, which is sleep. That's the double activated one, right? So I, so I can't, I have to do a minus X. Basically minus X is play, is basically what minus sleep. Minus sleep is play, but I have to, I have, to have them both at zero. I basically have to not use sleep, which is the first thing. And, and I can't get to consume or play. So basically this is, I can balance these two is what this equation is saying, but I can't use sleep. Sleep has to be zero. That's the zero, non, that's, okay. There's another way we can solve this. Uh, we could just set, um, we could just set this equal to this, right? That's zero, that's zero, the same thing. I put minus X plus Y minus Z, which is this. I set that equal to this because both of them should be zero. I get Y minus Z minus y plus z, I move the y over here, I get 2y, move the z over there, I get 2z, it's y equals z. So y and z have to be equal, right? And, okay, so if y and z are equal, what happens? I can, did, okay, I, I plug it back, back in here. So y and z are equal, so it's z minus z, or, right, or, or y minus y, and same thing here, z minus y, so in the end, I get both equations end up minus x is zero minus X is zero. So it's the same thing. X has to be zero. So that's basically both ways to solve it say that I can't be using sleep. So it's just the way I set up the math. Um, again, uh, Y and Z don't have to be equal. Um, I can use more consume, but then I won't be balanced. I can use more blast, then I won't be balanced. It's basically a way to set up the algebra. Okay. Um, so I hope I went into that deep enough. If there's still more questions, um, I'd be happy to answer. Maybe I'll Maybe I'll uh, do another video with someone actually trying to get it beside me. So I see the, the pace that you're going at. Um, but that's basically the intuitive side is I'm trying to balance this, this equation and I need play. I need this play. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. The double activated animal is always going to be the problem. I'm going to always need to balance it off with the other animal. Okay. So yeah, maybe I can reduce this by 50%, but then I'm going to increase this by 50% and then we'll get the balance. You have to use all your animals to get the balance. There's no way you can't. Okay, so that's what I, the same conclusion as before. Now let's get into the sleep last IJ suffering. And it's everyone. So everyone is going to suffer on this side in some way, but the IJs are going to suffer the most. And I realize this is the most difficult issue for you. And I'm going to try to be sensitive to this because it's, it's, it's not an easy thing for the IJs to deal with. Um, so let's try to be sensitive to them when we're talking about it. But it's really a difficult issue for the IJs. So th basically what happens is, the sleep last means that that's the savior. And that means the play and consume is the demon. Okay. So you're refusing to accept objective reality. You're refusing to update because that's the, that's, that's the play consume demon. You're refusing to accept objective reality and you're refusing to let go of your subjective worldview. You're persisting with your subject worldview. Okay. So this, when is this good? It's persistence, right? Okay. The world is coming. You have your vision and you're just going to stick to it. You're going to plow through everything, right? The world can try to disrupt you. And this is like a positive side to it, right? You can be really, um, you can be really, have a lot of conviction in your worldview. Um, now, if you have an accurate worldview and you're plowing through the world, then you can do a lot of good. If you have a bad worldview, then you can do a lot of bad if you're plowing through the world with, with your worldview. So, so this is kind of the, the issue that the IJs have. They don't want to update their worldview. They don't want to accept obje objective reality. And they will refuse to let go of, of what they've already, what their worldview is already. And that's going to just create this really difficult idea. I don't want to let go and I don't want to update. I want to just stay with my worldview. And it's just, it's just being stuck. Okay. So what does it lead to? It leads to denying your own possible happiness. Okay. You, um, you throw out the baby with the bathwater. So say some, some, 
some baby and some bathwater come towards you, right? Some, some mixed good and bad together. What are you saying? No, this baby and bathwater does not line up with my worldview. I want baby and no bathwater. It's not acceptable that both come, right? I'm strict on my worldview. So I'm going to throw them both out, right? Something, something must be exactly right or it's wrong. It has to either fit in my worldview or it's wrong. I'm dismissing it completely. If, if it can't be shaped by your worldview, if you can't change it, right? So, so sometimes the IGAs will try to change something when it's coming. But if you can't change it, you can't accept it. And you'll reject happiness, right? You'll reject your own happiness. Whereas if you learn to accept it, as it is, you might enjoy it. You might even learn to enjoy it. You're like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, how do you know? Try. Try accepting it. You might even enjoy it. You might even adapt. You might even be happier for updating your worldview. At least be open to it. At least try, right? That's the hardest part. It's like, it's like, just be open to try. You don't have to like it. You don't have to accept it. Just be a little bit open, right? Um, so closing the door on opportunities. Some people say closing the door on blessings. Um, so closing the door on blessings because they don't come in the way that you want them to. It's like you're shutting the door to blessings. You're shutting the door to opportunities. I don't want any opportunities unless they come exactly how I want them to come. Unless they fit exactly into my worldview. Um, the universe will force you to realize that your subjective worldview is flawed, right? Because you're stuck. Uh, you, bad things will happen to you because they happen to everyone. And you will suffer because you can't accept them. You can't, you can't process, you can't move on. You're still stuck in your worldview. They're going to come and they're going to force you to update whether you want to or not. Otherwise, you will just suffer and fail to realize that you have caused them. Like you might have even caused them and you could have avoided them by updating, right? So sometimes not updating is what causes the world to come attack you because you're like, no, don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. And eventually the world has to push back, right? Accepting the opportunities and recognizing the baby in the bathwater, recognizing, hey, there's a baby in here. I could, I could, I could separate things. I could adapt my worldview to accept both. And then, and then, and then, and then, I don't know, accept both, accept the blessing with the curse and live with the, the difficulty so that I can enjoy, enjoy the joy, right? You might, even, you might even recognize that you caused it, but see it as a challenge for your worldview uh, to fight to overcome. So it's like, okay, yeah, I might even recognize that I caused this tidal wave coming. Oh, wow. I was too strict on my worldview. Um, I, I uh, let's say a, a good example is relationships or everything. So I, I'm too strict on my relationship. I want my partner to be exactly this way. If he doesn't fit this dream that I have for the ideal partner, then I don't want him at all. No. And it's like, and, and then you might double down. You might say, I'm doing a righteous cause. It's a righteous cause to get rid of this person because he's not fitting into my worldview. So you're, you're even doubling down. You're making it even worse, right? Um, like, okay, so I caused, I might have caused this person to act this way or whatever, but that's, he's coming to challenge my worldview. So I'm right, right? I have to protect my worldview at all costs, right? I have to have control at all costs. And so for the, for the, for the, uh, in the name of, of protecting your worldview, in the name of control, you might end up doing things that, that hurt yourself in the end, right? So win or lose, the loser will be you. Um, so you, okay, so you created the situation where your worldview would be challenged by clinging too strongly to it and building up the ideology that is destined to be challenged, right? Obviously, it's going to be challenged because it's wrong. It's flawed. It's not matching the world. The world is not going to accept it. Um, even if it's right, the world might not even be ready for it, right? You could have this beautiful worldview. The world's not ready for it and you will suffer, okay? And yeah, you need to stick to it. You need to fight for it. You need to push. Like this is in the ideal sense. You've got this great ideology. You need to change the world, but at the same time, you need to move with the chaos. You can't just be tunnel vision, you know? You want your worldview and you refuse to accept anything that challenges it. It's your choice, which is more important, right? You have to set your priorities and which one you will prioritize, right? What's more important? Um, that babies come without bathwater or that we accept baby or that, you know, we accept baby. Uh, I don't know. It's a bad example. Uh, what's more important that I work with my partner and I move and we, we, we figure out how to work together or I stick to my ideals and I get rid of him as soon as he's not working out. Right. What's, you know, what's more important? You have to prioritize your worldview or accepting. You, you'll face the consequences of the decision, but others might too, right? Let's say you, you, you stick to your worldview. You might cause other people to suffer. You might have um, family members involved, right? It might be long lasting effects for everyone in your life that you care about. 
Okay. So, but, and you might say, I'm sorry, I'm willing to accept these sacrifices because this is what's right. I don't want to move. Right. So like, this is the, this is just basically this, this, this stuck. I just Janus that I, I want to warn about. And I want, just want to give this, this, uh, this warning, use that last animal. Like that's the, that's the conclusion. Just start using that last animal so that you can start accepting the world. Um, start accepting things as, okay, not everything's going to be exactly as it should be, right? Let go of that should. Um, not everything is going to be the way, the way um, you envision it and your vision might be wrong, right? You might be trapped. You might be stuck. What you're seeing might be wrong. Update. I know you don't want to. I know it's a lot of work, but update. Anyways, so that's the video. Have a good one, everybody. I'm going to stop the share and then stop the record. Have a good one. Bye.